All right, we might have enough stuff to do what we need to do now if I can get out of here fast enough to live. Oh no. Oh no. Hey there folks, Mazion here. And today we're gonna play a game called Subnautica. Now I started a playthrough for this game like two years ago while it was an alpha. Um, and it was a game that I I didn't get into. We didn't get a lot of uh, a lot of response, but I'm having a lot of fun with it now. So I want to do it for you guys on YouTube. We are doing it also on Twitch. And if you haven't already, make sure to check me out at twitchtv down for more adult-oriented content. And don't forget to blast the like button if you like the video. But I've had such fun with this game. It's so beautiful and such an amazing game that uh, we're gonna do a whole playthrough on YouTube. Uh, for you guys so let's get this party started what's happening the ship oh there goes the ship oh man i didn't die amazing uh, well, hopefully the planet that we're falling on is going to be something super, super amazing, like pretty. Ah! Never mind. I got knocked out. <laughs> Those would be my thoughts. If I was falling toward a planet and I had just been in a ship that was about to explode. All right. Get it, sucker. Put out the fire! All right, amazing. Wait, pick up my PDA. Ooh. You have suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad we have you, Miss PDA. All right. So we're going to grab up this so it can start creating another medical kit. And then uh, I guess it's time to, to just start. To just get things going. What do we got in the storage container? We got a couple flares. We got a couple bottles of water and a couple of nutrient biscuits. Nutrient blocks, I think they're called. One thing about this game is that some menus that you enter, such as this one, you can press escape to get out of. But if you are in a storage container and you press escape, it stops all things from happening on the video. Super, super frustrating. Uh, but I guess you could also... I don't think tab... Yeah, tab doesn't get you out of these. So it's super... Super frustrating. That's the only frustrating thing I found about this game, uh, at all. Let's see what's here. Oh man, topside is beautiful. Look at this. But there's no land. There's no. What is that? The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Well, there's the Aurora. So one question that people have been asking is, is it procedurally generated? Now, I don't think it's procedurally generated, but I do think that your pod can land in different spots on this side of the ship. I believe that my other playthrough is either over there farther or actually out, out farther. But let's find some, some things that we need. We're going to need uh, a couple of these. We're also going to need some fish. Hi, fish. How are you, fish? Gotcha. Oh, you're a fast fish. Man. We need copper and uh, titanium ASAP. So we're going to grab that stuff as well. Grab up that. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm going to get hurt. Ah! I can't believe that I missed it. But that's a good sign because that means that there's sulfur down in here, which we do need. Um, are there any more... Oh crap, I forget. I don't have my cool tank on. Woo! 
We'll get that tank soon enough. Hopefully there are no more blowy uppy fish down in this hole. But we're gonna go in, grab that. No, no more blowy uppy fish. That's my technical term for them. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave system. Uh oh. I hear one coming for me. It did not get me. Let's grab some glass over here. Go get that sulfur deposit. We're gonna need some air. Glass. Or crystal, rather. Oxygen. Yes. Oxygen. Yes. Uh oh. This way. Got it. Now, I don't know if we got. Uh oh. About to pass out. We're good. Do we get any copper? No, we haven't gotten any copper yet. We definitely need copper. Copper is important. So I'm not an expert in this game by any means. Yesterday was the first day that I really played it. We got some lead already, that's nice. And it was for six hours on the stream, but we did a fair amount of stuff and I learned a lot. So super psyched to play it again. Oh, I got copper. Yeah. The probability of survival has just increased to unlikely, but plausible. Silver-based wiring is an essential component of All right, we might weapons. have enough stuff to do what we need to do now, if I can get out of here fast enough to live. Oh no! Oh no! Ah, uh, the great thing about drowning in this game is, as long even when you go black, you still have plenty of time to not drown. <laughs> Super helpful. All right, so we might have enough stuff to get our start here. I can't remember. I could bring out my PDA, but what I'm going to do instead is just assume that we have and go back. Why do I have the fire extinguisher out? Could I have some more titanium, please? And more titanium. And what am I going to make first? We need some tools, right? We need the repair tool, which requires silicone rubber. We're not ready for that quite yet. We need the scanner, which requires a battery. And the battery requires acidic mushrooms and copper, which is why you picked that stuff up. Super awesome to be able to make this right away. So we got our scanner. Super amazing. Synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to accord alien biological data. Okay, good to know. So we've got cave sulfur early, which is going to be helpful for making the repair tool. So we just need to get the silicon rubber, um, which I do know how to get, which is amazing. We do need to make the knife before we make the silicone rubber, though. So let's put all this crap in here. Put a couple of these in here. Uh, what else? How do I make the knife? The knife requires the silicone rubber? I thought we needed the knife to make the silicone rubber. Hmm. I don't remember what it requires. I don't remember what silicone rubber requires. Ah, creep vine. It's the seed clusters. All right, so we're all set. So we're going to go do that right now. We need, we need the knife to get the mesh from those same vines. But now we've got our scanner. And so the next... business that we want to complete here is I don't really want to use the nutrient blocks unless we absolutely have to. So we're going to grab some peepers. Peepers. Can't wait till we can make the flippers. Flippers are super helpful. Yes, I know we've discovered a peeper. He got stuck. Awesome. They're very scared of me right now. And so you can scan. If you haven't played this game before, you can scan like anything. The acidic mushrooms. We've already grabbed them, but it still wants us to scan them. And so we can scan this fish. We can keep it in view. All right, so we've scanned the peeper, which is fine. Now we just need to catch the peeper. I think we've got four peepers now. Maybe. Maybe three. There. So the only other thing that we're going to need, and we may as well grab while we're out here so that we can synthesize it, are bladder fish, which you can get water from. Discovered. Pretty amazing. Alien life forms. This is like the bread and butter of the beginning of the game. You grab this stuff real quick. Alien resources is a proven survival strategy. 
We are definitely going to utilize alien resources. And there's two more bladderfish down here. Three more. I'm going to grab them up real quick. Four more. Five more. Holy holy bladderfish, Batman. And I'm really happy that we're close to this tube because this tube has a lot of really good resources in it, too. Hello, bladderfish. Any more bladderfish? Come here. All right. So let's go and do a couple things before we go find some uh, vine seeds and get our knife and get our start here. Hi. Probably should have come up under the bottom. That would have been just as well. So now we can make all kinds of water, which we're going to need while we explore. And all you need is to grab these, these pink fish. This machine is amazing. This is like the most amazing machine I've ever seen today. How many balls? How many did I grab? Grabbed a lot. Holy crap. I grabbed a lot of bladderfish. It's smart though. It's smart to think ahead like that. And we're going to want to get salt eventually so we can cure the fish. Organisms while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. So we're good. We've also got the ability to cure both of these fish, which we're not going to do anytime soon. And now we can make a power cell, which is awesome. And we also unlocked the air bladder, which we're never really gonna use. Let's eat a fish! And another fish! And another fish! 123, and then drink uh, some water? That's fine. For now. We're gonna put some of this water in here, so we... Because we don't, we don't need this much while we're traveling about... For the time being. Did we get another medical kit yet? Oh, it's 93% done. Hmm. I don't really need to heal anyway. So let's go find some of these vine seeds. I also need to make a flashlight, like, ASAP. Where, oh, where are the vines? If the ship is that way, there should be vines in this direction. Uh oh. I hear baddies. So, in the dark isn't so bad uh, for this particular activity because there you go. You can see the seeds. So, we just gotta get over the tallest ones here and go down in and grab some before we drown. Alright. There's some right here. We'll just grab these ones right here. Fast as possible. AFAP! Alright, so we filled our inventory with this stuff. They take up a lot of slots, but once you've got some, we should be able to be alright for, for a, quite a while on the ones that we got. And a buck! So we're going to make some silicone rubber. We're also going to make some lubricant from these uh, for later. Because uh, we're going to need some lubricant. So we may as well make a couple. I can't wait to make the flashlight. The flashlight is like one of the first really essential things that you want. Flashlight is amazing. Super helpful. We also need the knife and the repair tool and all kinds of other crap. But we're going to get there, man. We're going to make all this stuff. All right, how are we doing? I would like some uh, silicone rubber, please. I'm gonna make a lubricant. Do lubricant. lubricant. Is essential in construction of vehicles and power plants. More silicone rubber. Another lubricant. Another. Jeez, we're gonna have plenty of stuff, right? All right, we're all good. So I said, wait, wait, why did you close? I wasn't, oh, it's unpowered. What? I don't remember that ever happening before. What happened? We definitely need to repair some stuff. I've overused it. Thank you. 
All right, so I don't know if we have enough. We can't. Oh, now we can use it. Why were you unpowered? Maybe I just have never used it this much before in one go. Oh, power 7 to the 75. It is re re repowering. So, we need to make the knife. Got it. We still got Weapon 5 power. From standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis Prime. The knife remains the only exception. We've almost got rid of all these giant creep vine seed clusters. We can actually probably throw one out. Uh, we've made the knife. Got the knife now. We'll be powered in just a second. So let's transfer some of this stuff. Let's get rid of some of the rubber and lubricant. We're going to need to make some temporary storage, which we've done in the past. I don't know if we can do that yet. We can. We're going to make a waterproof locker real quick. And so the last time, I had two of these hanging out downtown by themselves. But I just kind of put them here below the ship. We can access them really quick. Uh, you can rename them. You can pick them up. You can move them. We're going to rename it to uh, Butts LOL. This is a perfect name for a locker. Open up the storage. We'll throw... Let's throw one of these seed clusters in here. Three of these items. I gotta get some power back to this thing to see how I make the repair tool and the flashlight. I don't remember what components. We need a battery and glass for the flashlight. We need silicone rubber, cave sulfur, and titanium for the repair tool. So let's make the repair tool. Sulfur, silicone, we've got the titanium. Bam, got it, got it, repair tool. So that was important because we really need that. Local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Repairing secondary systems. Life pods Got it. Systems online. Repair the radio. Diagnostic and outputting results to databank. I got it. Medkit's not ready. So hopefully we won't run out of power as easily now. And there's a message. This is Aurora. Distress signal received. Rescue operation will be dispatched to your location in nine, 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 nine hours. A lot of hours. Continue to monitor for emergency transmissions from other life pods. All right, thanks for doing that. I appreciate that you're continuing to monitor emergency transmissions. That's really, really nice of you. All right, so we don't have any copper right now, so we can't actually make the flashlight, but we do know where we can get some. It's light outside. I've got some fish. I've got some water. Should be good to go right now. So what we're going to do is go back down. Uh, you know what? Let's check real quick before we go anywhere. I would like some flippers. Could I please have us some flippers? Do I know how to make flippers yet? Fin, silicone rubber times two. Got it. Super important to make early on. Grabbing two flipper, uh, two silicone for the fins. And we could also make, maybe, can we make an oxygen tank? Yep, we can. Also super, super awesome. Using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. So, that was a big deal. It's a big deal to get that. Alright, so we got all of those things that we need right now. We need to be able to make a battery, which means that we need more copper. We should have some acidic mushrooms left. We do. We've got everything else that I need on me. Uh, my fish are probably going bad. Eh, they're okay for now. Uh, let's go. So now we can be underwater for longer and we swim faster, which is super duper important because we're going to go in here and we're going to find some more resources. Copper already. Give me that. So we are actually just going to grab everything that we can, fill up our inventory and go back. We need some titanium while we're down here. Hopefully we'll find some more, probably find some scrap metal somewhere. I think I've got enough glass on me for now, or crystal rather, to make glass.
So this tube is super duper awesome, especially because it has other cave sites on it. All right. Can't really see in here. We're going to go back out. We're going to try to find a piece of the ship. I'm going to swim to the surface. I went the wrong way. And we're going to almost drown here in just a second. But it's fine. Don't worry. It doesn't really do anything to you. All right. So we need some uh, ship pieces. There should be plenty scattered around. Is that a ship piece? Uh, no, that's salt. That's salt, isn't it? No, it's glass. Uh, crystal. No! That was bad. Took a little damage there, but we'll be fine. Ship pieces, where are you? I need some salvage metal, please. Just quick and easy salvage metal. There we go. Quick and easy. I would love some salt as well, but... If we're not quite there yet, that's fine. Oh, all the salvage. This is great. Oh, I, my inventory's full. Awesome. Uh, not really a super duper problem. Yeah, no, I just want to keep all this stuff. Up, up, and away! So we're going to go back to that ship. What's up, storage container? How you doing? Uh, why don't you take some of this stuff? Yeah, that stuff. Could be good. Up in here, we're going to make all the titanium. We're going to make another container for under the ship, which should be enough... Uh, until we make our own habitat. It'd be super good. I don't need to make an ingot yet. We're good. Uh, and then we need to make the flashlight, which requires a battery, and the battery requires two acidic mushrooms. So we're going to grab those, come back here, make a battery... And then make a flashlight. I need glass. Crap. Make some glass using the crystal. Two crystal for some glass. And then make a flashlight. Things are coming along quite nicely. So let's grab the flashlight. Let's put it over here. I'm probably never ever gonna use these flares. Um, let me see. I don't need the air pump. We do need to make the high capacity O2 tank, which we have the ability to make already, which is super awesome. That is amazing. Uh, I didn't get this for a while on my last playthrough, which we're doing on the stream. So down here we had the silicone rubber, I think is what I was looking for. Don't remember. Why did I go down there? We want to make the big O2 tank. The big O2 tank. Two glass. That's what I was looking for was crystal. <laughs> Whoops. So, two glass. Oh, crap. Okay. Hi, crystal. Give me another crystal, please. Thank you. Uh, two more crystal. Got it. All right. Let's check one more time. Like to make sure two glass, the standard O2 tank. So let's make the two glass. And you have to actually de equip the O2 tank. You take it off your body. Like that. And then you can make the better one. Exploration is now much easier. Got it. We've got the fins, we've got the big O2 tank. We need to make a habitat builder, which is going to require a wiring kit, which is two silver. A habitat builder. We need to make one of these real quick. I forgot we need another storage. Thank you. The habitat builder requires a computer chip, 
which I think is just a wire, some gold, and then the, the table coral, which we can get now that we have the knife. So we're gonna make a wire real quick. And we're gonna plug some stuff away. Remember to get some table coral while we're out. Uh, give me... Let's put our consumables outside. My fish are really bad now. They're gonna get rid of my... We don't even need these fish. This is stupid. I'm gonna put the rest of the titanium back in there. Another great thing about this game, items stack next to each other automatically. Huge! You guys are amazing, Unknown. Appreciate you. Where's my knife in there? I don't remember doing that. Uh, knife goes here. All right. So we're kind of speeding along the process. Which, uh, let's put you right next to the other one. Why not? I got a good name for you. Well, how about, uh, Butts LOL? Got it? And then we're gonna put water in this one and consumable items. So we've got that all set up and ready to go. Now we need to go get some other items so that we can make the computer chip. I do not need the fire extinguisher, but we do have it with us. So this is table coral. We're gonna have to use it. We can actually scan it too. Add it to our data bank. We'll tell you stuff about it, but I don't really need to know stuff about it. I do just want to get a little cache of it. And throw it in one of these guys before we go anywhere else. So let's throw these guys in there. And now we've got 135 seconds to explore. Where's the tube? Is the tube in the other direction? Yeah, it's over here. We're going to go back in this tube and we're going to gather our whole bunches of crap. We do want to get some mesh at some point as well. Flashlight! Amazing flashlight is amazing. Alright. Go in and see what we can find. What was that noise? That was weird. Oh, here it comes. Put away the flashlight and everything. Got it. He did not kill us. We've got a new radio transmission, as indicated under my my face cam, where you can see it. Got some more titanium. We do really need to find some silver. Oh, crap! All right, we're good to go. We can go back there. Woo! He got me because I hit that dude. Probably won't need to grab any sulfur for a while. We need to go deeper in one of these caves. We're gonna need some oxygen first. Go back down in here. Need to find ourselves some silver, please, and gold. Here we're going deeper. Actually, it didn't bring us anywhere. Didn't bring us any silver or gold. down in there. These cave systems are really pretty. It is pretty awesome uh, what they've done with the map. Really, really great map development. Alright, let's see. I need to find some silver and gold! We're gonna have to find some different caves. These ones did not work.
I guess what we're gonna do here is grab some fiber mesh real quick. Some stuff for fiber mesh. Get some creep vine samples. Take up a lot of room. And I believe that over here, sometimes we can find some silver or gold. We've got stalkers. They're not gonna be very happy that we're down here. Hey, what's up, stalker guy? Add it's not silver or gold. Life on this planet grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. I will definitely study it further once. I found some silver and gold. Holy crap. I'm not sure that we're going to be able to find any right now. But hey, we got a lot accomplished for the first day. Um, this really, really, we really got pretty far, to be quite honest. Hopefully there's some silver or gold in here. No. Not in the tube. There's that big... Is this the same? That's the same big tube. Let's go see. Make sure that we can't craft what I'm trying to craft. And listen to the last radio message. All right. Water. We need a couple of those. I don't... I think we have the materials we need. Do not believe we do. No, we've only got one silver. We need two to make the wiring kit. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to be able to do what we want to do right now. We can make some fiber mesh though, which we will need. I can't make any more. Only make one fiber mesh, so sad. So, rebreather, we're definitely going to need that as well. It requires the wiring kit. We've got the Pathfinder tool, which we're not probably going to use very much. I haven't used it at all in my other playthrough. Let's see what this message says. Receiving pre recorded distress call, laying back. This is LifePod 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide. So, if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Seriously. Signal All right. Location uploaded to PDA. So there's a signal location over there. It's only 383 meters away. But what we're going to do before we go there uh, is we're going to make sure that we have the ability to make beacons. We're going to be able to make beacons really bad. Uh, we might have to get the beacon materials over there, but we're going to kind of look around here and in that bind area to see if we can find any cargo crates that are containing those beacon items. But that's going to be it for today's episode, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you blast the like button. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and check me out at twitch.tv slash for more adult-oriented content. And as always, be excellent to each other. Have a great day. See you later.